there are a couple of doshas that I myself believe in. Though I really don't like to put my clients into the humdrum of these doshas because it can become very, very superstitious. And it does stop you from negative, you know, positive thinking. You become more negative. So the way I have always believed that astrology is all about being an architect of your fate. With the knowledge of astrology, when you put it towards uh, or when you apply it towards your life, you can actually shape the life the way you want to. There are about four doshas that I believe in. One is um, the Mangal dosha, the Kuja dosha or the Mars dosha like we put it. Then I uh, have the Rahu dosha which we can translate into Kalsat Yoga. Then we have uh, the Ketu dosha. The last but not the least is also the Pitra dosha that I believe in. Actually it has very scientific annotations to it. We always feel that sometimes for no fault of ours we are tend to we tend to get blamed or we are suffering for a thing which we haven't done it but it's happening. And uh, this I would attribute it uh, to a very nice saying which is said in English uh, where they say for his sins I am hanged. So in a Vedic astrology the same thing applies which we call it as Pitra Dosha. We often find that in spite of our best efforts, we do not succeed in our efforts. We do our best and still are perplexed to find that there are unavoidable obstacles at the time of accomplishment of our work and as a result we are unable to reach our goal. And at, right at the last moment we will see that something has happened that all our hard work has gone for waste. Though our deeds are good and we may have not committed any crime, our family members face one trouble or the other and do not get rid of the problems. Now, the belief makes us analyze what wrong we would have done in the past or present life and it is because of a karmic debt. Karmic debt or Pitra Dosha. The family members face unexpected hardships and difficulties which are inevitable. They are repeatedly affected by some of the inherited, either you have diseases, they are transferred from one generation to the other, like cystic fibrosis, Down syndrome, mental subnormality, diabetes, asthma, most cancers, heart attack as a result of cardiovascular diseases are the best example of hereditary diseases. And this all comes under the Pitra Dosha. Now, those who believe in rebirth can easily understand that this is because of the strong belief that the souls of our forefathers are not resting in peace and the evil deeds or sins which they or would have committed in previous birth or past or the present birth, knowingly or unknowingly, is a debt on us and this needs to be cleared. This is what is all about Pitra Dosha. Now, how, how do we um, know that whether there is a Pitra Dosha in our uh, birth chart or not? Now, here I want to just give you a small um, definition which probably you will be able to understand. That there are 12 sections of zodiac circle having 360 degrees numbered clockwise, ascendant is known as the first house and the last house is known as the twelfth house. Each house represents specific traits used for prediction. Now again there are sub in it, in the individual's astrological birth, astrological birth chart. Now the problems are minimized and there is no need to worry. One may face any of the following problems due to the presence of Pitra Dosha in the horoscope. What are the problems that you face? Now, obstacles in education and delay in growth of career or no improvement in financial situation of either self or children. And that's a problem that normally clients come to me and ask me that there are obstacles in education and we are not understanding why. Why is there a delay in the growth of my career? Or why isn't my financial situation improving in spite of me working so hard? The second thing that a person may observe is delay in marriage or progeny or self Divorce or problems in the married life or self or children which makes us think that we need to analyze our chart. 
what wrong we would have done in the past or the present like there are people who get so i mean they're beautiful they're smart they're handsome but yet the marriage proposals don't go through sometimes everything is fine medically but there are no children so you know it sets a person thinking people need answers though it doesn't make a difference frankly speaking for my from my side when people say i'm not getting married i actually laugh at them and saying are you mad why can't you enjoy the life till you can because marriage has its own set of problems sometimes people come and say we don't have children i said well can't you enjoy yourself because there are people who come to me who have children and say there are so many problems but any which way that's a lighter part of it we need to analyze the chart and we need to see and get some answers that why are these things happening in us now the third is problem in conceiving or repeated miscarriages that people have accidents or sudden deaths in the family which are uncalled for then genetic disposition inherited diseases and prolonged illness to the family members one member gets all right the other falls sick one that fellow gets all right uh, the third one falls sick so this perpetual illness in the family mental sub normality in the child you know like we have autistic children or retarded children both of physically disabled or unwanted child one or the another trouble through children disrespect or humiliating behavior from the progeny to the parents or the parents towards the children i mean it's very funny when and you cannot understand it that why are the parents biased within the children is again it's something to be, to do with the trudosha disputes in the family never ending poverty addiction people always remain under debts and are unable to clear their debts despite of their best efforts now these are the problems that at times when one faces and one one needs answers is when we get into the vedic astrology because western part doesn't believe in all this though there is a spiritual connotation in the western astrology also but in the vedas we call it the pitru dosha that means for somebody's sins or for some of our forefather sins we are hanged now if you ask me what are the position of the planets in the astrological chart with the pitra dosha na pitra dosha is found if the planetary positions in the person's astrological birth chart i mean once you once you come to know where is the exact position of planets in the signs at the time of a birth of an individual that is where we also come to know right from the birth chart it is not in the transit charts that how a whether a pitru dosha is there in a the individual chart or not the sun is placed with rahu that is the sun is placed with the dragon's head in the 5th house the sun is placed with rahu in the 9th house rahu placed in the 5th house that is the dragon said if it's placed in the 5th house if the rahu is placed in the 9th house now some astrologers now there is a, a contention between all this some people say that the rahu and the sun placed in the 5th house is more uh, effective some some say that we have to take where, where is the sun placed whether they are in the 5th house or 9th house it's basically a play between the sun and the rahu how they are affecting each other now some astrologers believe that pitra dosha also occurs when rahu is positioned in the first house that is in the ascendant or with the ascendant some people believe rahu being positioned in the second house with no auspicious effect of that ground but it's very close to your ascendant an individual may be under adverse effects of inauspicious yoga also that is if rahu is placed with saturn rahu and saturn in the 5th or 11th house is also considered afflicted now all these placements are best known by the astrologer i do not after hearing all this i do not want you to completely take out your charts and see where is your rahu placed or saturn placed or sun placed don't get into the, into this kind of a knowledge let an expert know whether you are suffering the pitra dosha or not but yes what you all can do is that the above pointers that i gave you all that whether in spite of your hard work you are not getting through 
or you are not getting a child or uh, probably uh, the deaths are not getting over or there is a lot of genetic disposition or you know those factors, uh, those pointers that I gave you. Yes, you can observe your life in that way and then go to a proficient astrologer who can tell you whether the Pitra Dosha is there or not. Here, let me also tell you all very, very clearly that some astrologers, just because they feel that a puja needs to be done, so there is a lot of money involved, they would probably put you into a superstition by saying, yes, there is a Pitra Dosha and you need to do something about it. Don't get into all that humbug. It's very important to have belief in yourself. From my understanding it is that once you come to know that there is a kind of a Pitra Dosha, you can actually very very realistically overcome that because you are no more ignorant. And they say once you know that this thing is there, there are all the, uh, the problem is there, there are also solutions to it. We have, I mean I also believe in a certain kind of a puja which actually takes off all the negative energies from your house and you can do it yourself, you don't require pundits to do for that. There is also a Vedic mantra, a jap that destroys the effects of the past sinful deeds or the pitra dosha. It's very important. Now, basically if somebody tells me, okay, what do I need to do? My simple, my simple uh, uh, thing for Pitra Dosha is, please, you need to burn incense in your house. You need to take out the negative energies by having um, a kind of, um, uh, you know, Luban, I mean it's known as Luban, which you actually burn that thing and you take off all the negative energies through that smoke from your house. Sometimes when people say that, okay, how is it that I can do the, uh, take off the Pitra Dosha from my, uh, my uh, Kundli or from my chart? My simple thing is, it's very important for you to do meditation. Once you are doing meditation and once you are thanking God for all the blessings that you have and also having that full trust in that God that he is going to take you off of this uh, dosha because now that you have become um, aware of it is actually work half done. It's like you know you have to go for an exam. If you study for it, your confidence levels are high. But if you know nothing about the subject, you are scared or you are... See, the cosmos wants you to be aware that there is something done by your forefathers or something done in your family. And the cosmos also knows that this awareness is the first step towards um, alleviating all these negative energies and going forward confidently, having the belief in yourself and overcoming the obstacles. That is why during the Mahashivratri, Mahashivratri is actually, according to the Vedic astrology, Mahashivratri is one of the most center points where Pitra Dosha is taken off. That is why Mahashivratri is so well observed and so widely observed in all the Asian countries, whether it's India, whether it's uh, Malaysia, whether it's Indonesia, whether it's Singapore, whether it's China. And in some parts of Japan, Mahashivratri or Lord Shiva, which is the destroyer of all evil, is very well celebrated. So it's very important for you to know all these. Now, my what are the basics that I would follow or I would tell my clients that if they have a Pitra Dosha, how do you remove it? They should just follow the following simple remedies. I would say give food to crows, street dogs, cows, ants and fishes on all Amavasya and if possible daily. See when you are when you're giving seeds to the crows or the street dogs or the cows or the ants or the fishes, you know basically you are throwing positive energy of them and trust me it is nature's way of sending the grace back to you because as human beings we fail to thank people when we get something but if you um, observe nature they all actually send blessings back.
and they do reach you. Now, why do we say on the Amavasya day, that means no moon day? For the simple reason, because uh, the eyesight of the animals is very less, so they can't find their food. But they know that we get food from a particular place. So if you actually give it on the Amavasya day, they will go and, um, uh, you know, uh, fill their stomachs and send you the blessings. I would say, if possible, give it daily. Chant mantras. The mantras that I believe in for Pitru Dosha, and I also believe that they actually give you a lot of uh, positive mantra, is the Gayatri Mantra, Om Bhur Bhuva Swaha, Tat Savitur Vareniyam, Bhargo Devasya Dimahi, Dhyo Yonha Prachodaya. If you can do it 108 times, brilliant. If you can't do it 108 times, just doing it once, but doing it with dedication is equivalent to 108 times. Then even chanting the mantra Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Just these four words. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Now when you are chanting these mantras, all the seven chakras of your body get activated. And if you are specially doing this early in the morning when you are getting up, facing the sun, you will see or find yourself the supernatural phenomena of being engulfed in the sun's grace you will feel your auras really throbbing and you're set for the day. So Pitru Dosha or no Pitru Dosha, you are bound to be a success. But knowing whether it is there or not, of course it's important. Now the way I had spoken about the do's, I would not like to end this uh, Pitru Dosha without even having to let you know that what are the don'ts. Because I, I believe that there are certain do's to everything and there is another part which is the don't. If you come to know that you have a Pritra Dosha or even if you don't come to know that you have a Pritra Dosha but you are feeling the effects of the pointers that I have spoken before. You must do what I have told you, the mantra as well as the, uh, you know, the points of how to feed the crows, the birds and how to say the Gayatri Mantra and the four word mantra, the don't. One is advised not to start anything significant. If you truly feel, so don't keep trying, don't keep wasting your money, don't keep thinking that okay now let me try it once more. Don't try anything significant. Get yourself acquainted that why is it, what is it that's happening. After having been aware of it, then the astrologer should, uh, astrologer should be able to tell you what you should start. Any new activity should be postponed or avoided during the Pitru Paksha to remember and respect our ancestors. There is a time that comes somewhere in September, I think, when Pitru Paksha comes. This says this is the time for remembering our ancestors. Though personally speaking, I always start my thing significant during the Pitru Paksha because I feel that all my ancestors have come down to bless me. But that's a personal belief. But according to the Vedic astrology, they say don't start it. All marriage related activities, celebrating the birth of newborn, joining a new job, starting a new venture, constructing a new house and purchasing of new property, ornaments, clothes, utensils, they all should be avoided. One should not wear new clothes or ornaments during the Pitra Paksha. Now again, I would say that's a personal belief. Even eating garlic, onion, non-vegetarian food or haircut should be avoided, especially on the last day, which is known as the Mahalaya Amavasya or the Sarva Pitra Amavasya. This don'ts are strictly according to my philosophy, if you are not sure why things are happening to you, why start anything significant? Once I am sure and I know that I have taken positive uh, steps to uh, eliminate the Pitra Dosha, then when I start something significant, I am bound to be a success. The only thing which I really, really, really believe in life and which I have experienced with my clients and I have also experienced with myself, that when I have these doshas, I definitely prescribe gems they energize gems to my clients and they actually tend to balance the energies in your body. 
Now having known that there is a Pitru Dosha, I need to create more earth energies in a person's body so that he becomes more stabilized and he becomes rock solid in his life. That is the time, according to the date of birth and time of birth, I happen to prescribe the stone to the person and obviously when he becomes more grounded and confident in himself, all these doshas can be eliminated.